In this video, we are going to discuss about how to delete an account in Odoo 30. So as you know that a chart of account is list of all the accounts which are used to record the financial transaction in the journal ledger of your organization. In Odoo 13, the chart of account is defined in the accounting module which act with the balance sheet or profit and loss account. And moreover, each company can prepare its own chart of account depending on individual requirement. And now to create a new chart of account, you can go to configuration and under accounting, you have an option for chart of accounts. So when you click on this here, you can see the already created chart of accounts for your company. And now if you want to create a new one, you can click on the create button. So here the code and name. So as we know that the each account is identified by this field that is code and its name and here you have an option to provide different types for your account that you want and moreover when some of these account types are selected you can see a new field to automate the creation of automated deferred expense or the automated deferred revenue and so on. And when you select that here you can see different choices that is no create in draft and create and validate so basically this option is a default value and this create in draft so whenever a transaction is posted in the account a draft entry will be created but it won't be validated and when you select the option called as create and validate here you must select a model so whenever a transaction is posted on the account an entry is created and it would be immediately validated and next one is the default taxes so here you can select the taxes that will be applied when this account is chosen for the product sale or purchase and here you can provide the tax as well as the group here you can mention the company for which you are creating the account here you can mention the account currency for the account that you have created and here you can if you want you can enable the option for allow reconciliation and deprecated so basically this deprecated option is used since it is not possible to delete an account once a transaction is made so for enabling the account you can use this option that is deprecated so we will look into this option more detail so now let's create a new account so suppose if I'm creating an account with a code okay and providing the name as demo account and here for the meanwhile I'm selecting the type as income here you can provide the default taxes and now let's save this now let's go to our products under vendors and for a product suppose I am selecting a product that is cornered as black for this product I am providing my account so here you can see under account properties you have income account so here I am providing my income account that is I have created that is demo account so now let's save this and now let's go to our uh, invoices and now let's create an invoice for this product so here you can select the customer that you want here you can provide the delivery address and the reference you want here you can mention the invoice date now select the product that we have provided there that is corner desk black so when you select that product you can see the account that we have created that is demo account comes under this field so here you can see the quantity and price now let's save and post this and let's make the register payment for this invoice so now this invoice has been validated and is paid now when you go to accounting sorry when you go to your chart of accounts and look for your demo account the account that you have created here when you select this and go to action here you have an option to delete 
Now when you click on delete here, they will say that you cannot perform this action since the account contains journal items. So since we had made a transaction, we are not able to delete this account. So in order to delete the account that we have created, so what we can do for that? For that, you can go to your account. So this is the account that we have created and here you have a feature called as deprecated. Now let's see what happens when we enable this. So let's enable this and save this. Now let's again go to the invoices and create an invoice for the same product for which we have provided or created the new account. So the product was cornered as black. So, so here you can see the account is still the created account and when you click on the post here you can see that the account that we have created that is demo account is deprecated which means that the account cannot be used that is the demo account cannot be further used. So basically in Odo we don't have an option to delete an account if we have made any transaction. So the only possible way to delete an account once the transaction is made is to make that account deprecated. So this is how we can delete an account in Odo 30. If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any Odo implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to info at cybrosis.com.